So the hormonal imbalance in PCOS is when this hormone, which is called the androgen, it's actually a male hormone, mm -hmm. okay, and it's too much in the body of a woman. Mm -hmm. So that is polycystic ovary syndrome in a simplistic, uh, as a simplistic description. The first manifestation will be irregular menses. Ang usual manifestation yun is yung naglalaktaw laktaw yung regla. O kung yare sabi na every two to three months, no? Hindi po dinadat na ng dalaw buwan buwan. Now the second diagnostic criteria will be signs sa mataas ng yung androgen levels clinically. So ano ba po yung symptoms na? Yung mga pasyente na may acne, dahing pimples, okay? May iba din po, yung mga babae, parang mabuho na parang sa distribution ng lalaki. So, sa likod ng legs, napakakapal dito sa chan. Hindi naman po masyadong ganyan sa mga babae, di ba? Yeah. Yung iba din po, hyperandrogenism, yung manipis na manipis yung buong. And the third criteria is yung doon po sa ultrasound. Yun po yung ultrasound na chinecheck po yung mga uh, organs nung sa loob ng katawan ng babae. Marami pong follicles sa uh, ovaries, so mm -hmm. more than 20 na hindi po nag-grow. So, yan po yung tatlong criteria. Now, for a patient to be diagnosed as having polycystic ovary syndrome, she has to fulfill at least two out of the three. Isa rin sa dapat maintindihan ng karamihan na hindi lang ovaryo ang apektado ng sakit na polycystic ovary syndrome, kundi pati ang buong katawan dahil ito ay isang metabolic disease. Because uh, the, the, they think that the worst uh, manifestation would be, you know, kasi polycystic ovary syndrome, yun yung title niya, di ba? Yun yung pangalan niya. When in fact, it's not. It's really a metabolic disease. Mm -hmm. So it's in your whole body. So kaya yung mga manifestations niya. The truth is, if I'm managing a patient with PCOS, eventually I don't really mind how the ovaries look like. It will depend on how the patient is clinically. Kaya kung ikaw ay nakararanas ng mga sintomas ng PCOS, maiging makinig mabuti sa payo ng doktor. Din sa pag-aaral, ito ay walang lunas, ngunit maaari itong makontrol sa tulong ng mga eksperto. Listen to your doctors and talk to them. I think it's very important that the, the goals will be clear so that we may be able to help you the best. Okay? And being honest with us with your needs, okay? That's the best way we can probably help. PCOS is a disease that cannot be cured, but we believe that it can be controlled. At upang malaman ang iba pang detalye ukol sa polycystic ovary syndrome, manood ang Dr. Son TV ngayong linggo, alas 7 ng umaga, dito lang sa UNTV. Kichi Cipriano, UNTV News and Rescue, Diyos ang aming sandigat, serbisyo publiko ang aming pinahahalagahan.